And here it is, hot and fresh. I love how they chop it up and serve it on a tray. The juiciness, the smokiness, the crispiness of the skin. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Taichung in Taiwan. And just outside of the city, there are some beautiful mountains where you can come and there's an assortment, a number of restaurants that specialize in Taiwanese barrel roasted chicken. Oh yeah, love this place. A short hike up to the dining room. Yeah, it is pretty quiet because we're here on a on a weekday in the middle of the afternoon. Hopefully we might be able to see them cooking the barrel, barrel chicken as well. Water. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh. Ah. Can you see it? Okay. <coughs> Oh! Okay. Oh yes, here we go, the fan. That chicken is underway. I think it's gonna cook for about one hour until it's done. Uh, and we got here, this is a weekday in the middle of the afternoon, so we're the only ones here, and so that's why they're only cooking one chicken for us. But if you get here maybe on the weekend when it's busy, I think it's very popular on the weekend, especially when people are day, have their day off and then when they come to the countryside to, for leisure and for eating, you'll see that they have like five or six chickens all going at one time. So the blazing fires all in a row of six or seven chickens. That would be cool to see. <laughs> okay. At the very end, he just blasts it with some extra heat. It just flames like fireworks, blasts it to get that skin perfectly crunchy and golden. Oh, that was incredible. The chicken is dangling within the barrel on a, on a skewer and he just like pulls that out. The chicken falls. Oh, that's a beautiful process. That is the most golden. It's just steaming. It's perfectly golden. Oh, what a process. Boom. Wow. Literally, the juices are just pouring out of it. It's perfectly 
cooked with precision, so it's cooked all the way through the bone, and yet it remains just unbelievably juicy. So juicy. Oh. What about the dripping juices? Oh, um. Wow. <laughs> Literally, it's like a liter of fluid that came out of the chicken while it was roasting, and that's gonna be used as a sauce, so he puts that into a little cup with some a little bit of salt and pepper that you can dip your chicken into. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. I love how they chop it up and serve it on a tray. And Uncle really wants us to eat it fast while it's still really hot and fresh and juicy. He said, you gotta start with this chicken breast right here. So maybe that's what we should immediately dig into. Okay, Micah, go for it. Let's try that chicken breast first. Oh, look at how juicy it is and that skin. Okay, you go for it. You can dip a little bit in that kind of salt. Here we go. Taiwanese barrel roasted chicken. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so juicy and smoky. And that skin, I honestly wasn't even expecting it to be that good. I mean, the process is cool, but the taste actually like is as cool as the, the, the process. Oh, and the juiciness is almost unbelievable. It really is incredibly juicy. And that's the chicken breast that I had the first bite. And that's so juicy and so good. Should we do a dip in the au jus though? Yes, yes we should. That chicken broth juice. If you want to rehydrate it even more. A little bit of salt and pepper mixture. Okay. Oh wow. Dip back in that broth so it's juicing. It's just dripping. Oh man. Okay. Mm. That is so incredibly tasty. And that, that chicken oil makes it even more tasty. Okay, look at this skin. Okay, actually, let's just try a little bit of skin first before moving on to that drumstick. Look at that skin. Mm. Oh man, that skin is perfect. <laughs> okay, let's try the drumstick. Usually this would be the first bite of chicken that I'd want to have, but since <coughs> uncle recommended that, chicken breast, we had to have that first. And can I do a little dip in that, dip in the juice? Oh man, what a move. Oh wow, the chicken oil, the juiciness, the smokiness, the crispiness of the skin, and that drumstick, unbelievable. What a process to cook it, what a taste. Oh. It's like oily, buttery chicken. Tear off some of that chicken. No, that doesn't work. I'm just gonna go in the, saw, in the salt a little bit. Salt and pepper mixture. Mmm. Mmm. That's like the most buttery chicken ever. Oily. So much flavor. That is so good. And I love the presentation. I love the style of it. I love the cooking method of it. And this amazing location in the countryside. We actually did also order a couple of other, other dishes. Uh, they have a full menu of dishes as well, and they should be coming soon. But definitely you come here for the chicken. And you'd be happy if you left only eating chicken too. And he just brought us a plate of the fried glass noodles with cabbage with uh, mushrooms in here as well. Mm. Oh, there's some nice pepper in there and some little shrimp as well that should give it some flavor. Very good. I'm like extremely impressed with the chicken. Not only the, the dark meat, but actually, oh man, that, that, uh, the breast meat is some of the juiciest breast meat ever. Mm. Yeah, that chicken breast is unbelievably juicy and flavorful. Normally it's a, it's a, it's not even a competition. The drumstick and the dark meat just wins in juiciness. This one, the chicken breast is so incredibly juicy. 
Okay, and then we also ordered, not totally sure what it is, a little fish, mm -hmm. kind of battered and deep fried and served with some chilies and garlic and, is it basil? Mmm. Oh, it's so tasty with the basil, with the chilies, salt and pepper, and uh, garlic in there as well. Dip it in the, dip it in the au jus, that chicken oil. Quick dip in the salt and pepper. Oh man, that is a near perfect slice of chicken right there. Uh huh. Oh man, that skin, gooey and crispy, and just bursts with flavor. Yeah. Last dish we got is just some stir fried vegetables. Looks like some gailan. Mmm. Maybe with some sesame oil in there. Really good, really clean tasting too. Not oily, just a flavoring of sesame oil, and then nice and soft. Another one of their specialties here is the, the traditional Taiwanese radish cake. They said their mom makes it themselves. Herself, their mom makes it. Uh, she grounds the radish herself, so we have to try this. And they gave it, they just gave this to us at the end of our meal here. They gave it to us, uh, a fresh plate of the radish, the radish cake. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow, that's good. Oh man, that's creamy and fragrant and crispy. Oh, and it's actually almost kind of custardy on the inside and garlicky. That's really delicious. Really hearty too. Mmm. This place is, I highly recommend it. I'm not totally sure of the name, but I'll have the link in the description box below. And literally it's just a couple kilometers right outside of Taichung. It's so easy to get here. You can take a taxi and it's really close. And it's just another world here. The owners, the family, they're so nice. I mean, they've been so hospitable to us. They're just so friendly. That's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos and travel tips. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.